Kind of surprised I didn't cancel the series after the controversial last episode. But I don't really care. Fuck off. If you know of FLCL, or Fully Cooly, you know it's a wacky OVA series by the people who made the funny Mecha Depression series. They later got three shitty sequels and one surprisingly decent one. But did you know there was a manga adaptation that goes debatably crazier than the original anime? You didn't? Yeah, I didn't really expect you to. You probably don't even know what FLCL is. By now you should already know my opinions on the FLCL or Fully Cooly anime, but the manga adaptation is another beast of its own. But what is this? Written by Gainax and illustrated by Hajime Yui Yuida, hope I'm saying that right, this is the manga adaptation of Fully Cooly, and like most adaptations, it changes a lot, but not as much as you'd think. It starts off about the same though. Nalta is being sexually harassed by his older brother's ex-girlfriend Mamimi until our 6th grade lead is hit by Haruko's Vespa and guitar. The manga noticeably kinda just goes straight to that instead of just easing you into the world but eh, I don't really mind. Nalta blacks out and Haruko has a crisis about killing someone but of course Nalta isn't actually dead. In fact he births Conti and another robot just like the anime. Nalto wakes up to Conti as his robot butler and Haruko as his maid. This manga follows a lot of the anime, but diverts in rather huge directions at points. Like for example, when Nalta and his friends sneak up to an abandoned house, meet another robot, and find some porn magazines. Let's take a quick side, shall we? This is love, this is love. This manga is actually kind of funnier than the anime, especially when you read it in the English dub voices. Like imagine Inkari Walgreen calling Nota gay because he doesn't comment on looking up Mamimi's skirt is hilarious. Or how no one seems to care that there's a giant robot walking around and Nota sprouting horns. Haruko says Among Us, please clap Reddit. Haruko is just as chaotic and funny as she normally is, which I'm glad that stuck because it wouldn't be Haruko if she wasn't an actual lunatic. Hamburger. Nalta just wants to build Gunpla, based. Anyway, Mamimi is called a child molester by Nina Mori, Haruko is seen as a Vespa demon, and the story continues similar to the anime. Mamimi commits arson, Nalta gets examined by Nurse Haruko, Nalta is jealous of his older brother. Mamimi worships Conti. Ukulele no good. Conti eats Nalta to become stronger. Nina Mori's father pulls his cheating scandal. And you know what that means. Nina Mori becomes a hot emblem. Wait a second, that's not like the anime. Well, anyway. <laughs> After Nina Mori becomes Mei's hat from Guilty Gear, she attacks Nalta and Conti like the anime but now not at the school. They end up staying at a hotel together where they start to connect and Nina Mori hones in on her mecha, I guess. That is until Haruko comes in and brings them home. Nina Mori walks in on Haruko and Mamimi having lesbian sex. No, I'm not joking, that actually happens. It's played as a gag, but the manga has a lot of queer undertones with Mamimi. And then they pull this stunt? Makes me question if this means something more, but in classic FLCO fashion, it goes unanswered. Christmas for Mimi! Gee, I wonder what happens next. Oh. Oh. By now, you've noticed something is off. Some things are similar, but slightly different. And you may be wondering if it can get weirder. Well... How about Mamimi losing her mind and controlling this huge robot? No wait, Haruko is. Oh, what about the cat being actually important and now in Naruto's head? Nina Mori becomes Naruto's Fortnite glider. Haruko kills Mamimi with a frenzy auto shotgun. That's two Fortnite jokes in a row, get Lego greedied. Just kidding, Mamimi gets suzu'd by a wild Kiriko. Naruto's grandpa fucking blows up Medical Mechanica, a giant space ball comes from space, and Horigo uses the giant robot to hit it with a giant bloody bat. What the hell is happening? Oh, they fly now. They fly now! Naruto has become Death, Destroyer of Worlds, 
everyone dies, the end, JK again. Anyway, Naruto gets kidnapped by a police officer, who then gets his brains blown out by Bunny Haruko? What is going on in this book, dude? She kinda bad, though. Actually, it's not Haruko, it's a totally different character, it's totally Haruko. Instead of Naruto kissing Haruko, she does it herself. She won in time, though. God, I hope she doesn't think that makes it kinky. If you're thinking I'm making all this up, no. This is honest to god the shit that happens in this final arc. Naruto declaring his love for Haruko is somehow the most normal thing here. To wrap things up, Haruko leaves like usual, but leaves not her bat, but her entire goddamn Vespa with Naruto. So, uh, yeah, that's one hell of a retelling of FLCL, huh? A lot of it is the same, but when it decides to deviate, it goes absolutely bonkers. And it ends somehow more confusing than the anime. It's got to be an accomplishment. But I still weirdly like it. It's crazy, it makes no sense, it's remarkably more fully cully than the original sometimes. And it's interesting throughout its whole run. Something else I want to mention is the art style of this manga. It's not like your standard manga art style. It's more rough looking, edges are more jagged, and the character designs are blockier. But I kinda love it. FLCL was known for when its animation went wackier and different, and I think making the art style so unique is perfect for a series like Fully Cully. It gives us some of the most raw images in the entire franchise, and fits the tone of the manga as a whole. The FLCL manga makes a lot of changes, but I don't mind them, especially stuff with Nina Mori. She's a bit quirkier now, and has more fun banter with Nalta. Everyone is still themselves, just an alternate take that's interesting to behold. Nalta is the hot-ass kid trying to be mature. Haruko is a snarky crazy woman. Nina Mori is the cold and jaded girl stuck in the spotlight she hates. Mamimi is a pedophile. Haruko still plays as Nalta's mother-like figure, who also wants a piece of that grade school boy. God, that sounds so bad out of context. So that aspect is a bit more toned down here. Probably because it has enough to juggle in its final act. And that's the official FLCO manga you've probably never heard of. Overall, I quite like it. In no way does it replace the original, but it's not supposed to. Like I said, it's an alternate take of the original OVA series, done in a way that continues to spirit but gives its own twist. It makes it an excellent side piece to the original show, and something I want more people to be aware of because it's just as insane and raw as the anime, if not more so in some regards. Go read it for yourself, because I cut out a lot of funny and quieter moments so I can talk about how much it differs from the anime, and just how extreme it gets. But yeah, I guess that'll do it. Here are some other projects I'll be making if you're curious. I'll try to have another installment of the series a bit sooner than this one was to the last. And hopefully not as controversial. Wait, I want to talk about Chainsaw Man next. And one of my favorite characters from that series is Himino. I'm sure that'll go over well. But until then, I was TK, and I'll see you next time. So long. Chainsaw.